else. <laughs> Adrenal corticotropic hormone, also known as ACTH. Where is it made? Anterior. The anterior pituitary. How about that? Where does it go? The adrenal gland. The adrenal gland. So adrenal cortico means the adrenal cortex. And Dr. Speak. So adrenal cortex, which from lab tomorrow is the outside part of the adrenal gland. Does anyone know what type it is? Give me three letters beginning with N and ending with P. How about that? As a general rule, it's not always true. The glands tend to give the same type. So if one's an NSP, most of the others are going to be NSPs. So what's the action of adrenal corticotropic? What's tropic mean from biology 112? Energy. Growth or change. So it's to increase the activity of the adrenal gland. Turn on, stimulate, tropify. That's another word to say. Okay. So prolactin. Made where? Anterior. Anterior. Anterior pituitary. If, if you get stuck, write that on your quiz. <laughs> right? Where do you think it goes? Memory gland. Memory gland. Boobies, whatever. <laughs> I can think of lots of words. All right. What type is it? <laughs> NSP. What does it what does prolactin do? <laughs> Increase milk production. Milk supply, milk production, prolactin, in favor of milking. Luteinizing. Where's it made? Anterior pituitary. Where do you think it goes? Gonads. Gonads. There's a good word from 112. Can someone remind me where your gonads are? Ovaries and testes. So if you don't like gonads, you can write ovaries or testes. Gonads is good for a laugh. Your gonads. What type is it? Peptides. Huh? Peptides. It is a peptide. It's an NSP. Can someone tell me what luteinizing hormone does to your gonads? It does stimulate them. So it increases activity. Also increases ovulation if you're a female. Those kind of things. So for, we'll learn that in 233. So right now it's increasing activity of your gonads. How about follicle stimulating hormone? Made where? If in doubt, say anterior pituitary. Where does it go? Gonads. Gonads. What type is it? What's it do? Same thing for this. Because follicle stimulating, stimulating follicles are where you make eggs and sperm. So it increases activity, you're going to increase egg and sperm. So you're increasing follicle production. In 233, we'll learn more specifically about that dynamic. So for today, that's the answer. Antidiuretic hormone. Where's it made? Posterior. Wrong. Wow. Not posterior pituitary. Anterior pituitary. Wrong. It is. Hypothalamus. All right. The book is not wrong. They're not wrong. They're right, but a different thing. I asked where it was made. The posterior pituitary is not where it's made. It's where it's released. Not manufactured, because source is manufactured. Let me show you a picture. I'm not making this up much. This is a picture showing. Wow. Your hypothalamus at the top, that V, and the pituitary hanging down. So if you look at the hypothalamus, you'll notice there's these funny little nerve cells up there. I'll put my mouse on them. Hypothalamic neurosecretory cells. Okay, these are cells in my hypothalamus, in my brain. Their axons <coughs> go down and go down and end up in here, the posterior pituitary. So your posterior pituitary is not a separate thing. It's part of your brain. It is actually part of the hypothalamus. They share neurons. So anything coming out of the posterior pituitary was made by my hypothalamus. So the posterior pituitary is the location where they come out, but that's not where they're made. They're made in the hypothalamus. So on a quiz or test, I ask you what's made, where they're made, that's hypothalamus. Where they're released from, that's the posterior pituitary answer the book gives you. But they're made in the hypothalamus. Make sense? If you say posterior pituitary is where they're made, it is wrong. They're made in the hypothalamus. So the hypothalamus is just sticking down into a funny little blob 
and we call that the posterior pituitary. That's a separate organ from the front. They're not the same thing. So when you get to lab tomorrow, you have to recognize that they're not the same organ, even though they're the same spot. So the posterior pituitary is an extension of the hypothalamus. The anterior is its own organ. Totally separate thing. They just share the same location. So the anterior makes stuff on its own. The posterior only makes stuff that the hypothalamus sends to it. <coughs> it doesn't make anything. It just releases it. Make sense? <coughs> the anterior and posterior are actually two separate things. Make sense? So on your data table, you're going to write hypothalamus because that's where it's made. That's the source, not the releasing structure. So hypothalamus is where you make ADH. That's creepy. All right, let's keep going. Where are you at? The target of antidiuretic is the kidney. Because what is the action? What does antidiuretic tell you it does? Stop peeing, right? Retain water. You, you pee in water out your kidneys, therefore you're in an anti-stop peeing, which means retaining water. And this is an NSP. How about oxytocin? Where is it made? The hypothalamus because it's released from the posterior pituitary. What are the targets of oxytocin? Uterus is one. Mammary glands is another one. All smooth muscle, to be honest. Okay. What does oxytocin make your uterus, mammary glands, and smooth muscles do? Contract. Increase contraction. So in grad school, we call this a squirting hormone. You squirt out babies, you squirt out milk, you squirt out semen, you squirt out stuff because you contract the smooth muscles. Also, you cuddle with things and fall in love with whatever does that. Right? But oxytocin causes contraction. You ever heard that? In sheep studies, you give sheep oxytocin, they start falling in love with whatever they're looking at. Yeah. Well, supposedly it works with you too. Right? That's why you love your baby because your baby made you have lots of contractions. Right? What type of hormone is it? Take a guess. NSP. How about that? <laughs> so NSP for contraction of smooth muscles. Okay, thyroid hormones, T3, T4. This is separate from that one. So there's thyroid stimulating, and there's just thyroid, also called T3, T4, or thyroxines. Where do you think thyroid hormones are made? Thyroid. The thyroid. So be careful on a test. Thyroid stimulating is made in the pituitary. Thyroid's made just in the thyroid. Where do they go? Tissue? Everywhere. All over. <laughs> Tissues. Everywhere. Systemic is a doctor word. What do they do everywhere? Body metabolism. Body metabolism. They increase metabolism. If you remember, metabolism is an increase in ATP use. You burn more energy. You burn calories because you're using ATP. What type are they? NSA. NSA. They're considered a mean. There's some debate on that, but for this class, there's a third NA. They're non steroidal amine. These two are from last term. Calcitonin made where? Please get it right before I change your grade. Made where? Thyroid. Thyroid gland. What does calcitonin target? Bones. Bones. Be more specific? Osteoblasts. Osteoblasts. Amen. All right. And what do osteoblasts do? Break down bone. Oh, no. Mineral deposition. Make bone. So I'm going to increase bone, right? So increase bone, also known as decrease blood calcium. So remember that you can build bone by taking it out of your blood. So depending on where you read, some will refer to the blood, some will refer to the bone. Right? But they're both the same thing. What type is it? It happens to be an NSP. That's weird that the organ changes type, but it does. PTH. Where was it made? Parathyroid. The parathyroid. <clears throat> Hence the name. The target is osteoclasts. It's an NSP. 
And what do class do? They what? Break down bone to increase your blood calcium. We take it out of the bone to put it into the blood. Make sense on these answers? Questions so far? Okay, let's scroll up and we'll keep going. We're about halfway done. Okay. Okay, this next group is the fun one. Okay, these ones that end with the word corticoid. Cortico, cortico. That tells you where they're made. Where are they made? Adrenal cortex. The adrenal cortex. So the adrenal gland or the adrenal cortex is the cortico. All right, the first word tells you what they're doing or involved with. So mineral corticoids, that means salt. Glucocorticoids means sugar. So you got to think about in your body, where would I go to affect the minerals and salt in my body? Kidney. The kidney. So mineral corticoids called aldosterones affect your kidney. What do they tell your kidney to do? Very good. Increase sodium, decrease potassium in the blood. Retain sodium, flush potassium, salt retention, you'll hear lots of words. Increasing sodium in my blood, decrease potassium in my blood. These are minerals. Where do you think glucocorticoids go? See, glucose sugar, where do you have sugar in your body? All over, right? So glucocorticoids are systemic or all over. They cause you to increase blood sugar. key part of this is when you're under stress, like right after that test. Right? So when you get stressed out, you're going to increase blood sugar using your cortisone, cortisols, to do that. Another way to say under stress is, is that parasympathetic or sympathetic? That's under the sympathetic response. So we can substitute sympathetic for under stress. So when you're freaking out, cortisol goes up. Where what types are those? Steroids, steroids. They are steroids. Good for you. Okay. Now we'll do one more row and I'll give you a little hint here. Sex hormones, testosterone, progesterone, estrogen, where are they made? Gonads. Yeah, you're looking at me like you don't know. Gonads. <laughs> and there's another place you make them. Nope. The nope. The adrenal cortex. That's why I put them there. They're from the same gland. So there's two locations to manufacture sex hormones. Where do sex hormones go? Everywhere. Sex hormones. Everywhere. They do. So they are all over the place. They are also a steroid hormone. Now we're going to get to the trick. Notice the steroids. They're all made in the same place, which is the adrenal cortex. The adrenal cortex is always, always a steroid. Every time. If you're not an adrenal cortex, you are not going to be a steroid. Other little trick. Look at how they end. Aldosterone, cortisone, testosterone. Own means steroid. Progesterone. And then you get estrogen, which just throws it all off. But estrogen known? Estrogen? Okay. But all these own words are your clue that they are going to be steroidal type. Right. So two places, all the same place, all the same ending. So right. So what do what do sex hormones do? What's their effect? Lots of stuff. So they make you sexy. <laughs> Okay, you're laughing, right? But that's my cue in my head. Think of things that make you sexy. Se primary and secondary sex characteristics, such as hair distribution, body fat distribution, body form, right? Voice pick. All those things you can list between men and women are these, right? They cause you to have puberty and facial hair and blah, blah. Get sense? 
right? So they affect your sexual characteristics. Let's do epinephrine, norepinephrine, also called adrenaline. Where do you think it's made? Adrenal medulla. The adrenal medulla. Very good. So be careful. The cortex is different from the medulla. The outside is different than the inside. These are made in the medulla, not the cortex. Okay, let's zip over to type. They're not a steroid because they're not from the cortex. What type are they if they're from the medulla? Yes, an NSA. Little trick. Notice the ending is an ene. Ene means amine. So epinephrine, norepinephrine, adrenaline, if I say it wrong. So enes tend to say amine, ohms tend to say steroid most of the time. Okay. So where do these go? <coughs> Everywhere, all over, systemic, bodily, all tissues, all receptor organs. What do they do? You should know that from your exam right now. What do epinephrines and norepinephrines do? Fight or flight. Fight or flight. They're going to increase the sympathetic re response. So epinephrine and norepinephrine are neurotransmitters, and they're also hormones doing the same job, turning on the sympathetic response. Make sense? Turn the page. Part two. Oh my God. <laughs> it never ends. There we go. Insulin and glucagon. They're made in the same place, which is the what? Pancreas. Pancreas. PCC says, thou shalt know the cells within the pancreas that make that. They would know what cell in the pancreas makes the insulin. Islet cells. Well, the islet cells, which one? Beta. Beta cells, very good. And alpha cells make glucagon. So you are required to know the alphas and beta cells production. Because since you're going to be dealing with diabetics most of your career, that's what we're going to be talking about, right? Alphas and betas. Same organ, though. So where do they go? Let's figure out where the target of insulin is. Where does insulin go to do its job? Everywhere. Especially the liver. So liver everywhere plus the liver is everywhere, right? But the liver specifically, but all over. Same with glucagon. All over plus your liver. What type are insulin and glucagon? <coughs> Non-steroidal peptides, NSPs. Action! What does insulin do? Lowers blood sugar. Lowers blood sugar. So some books say lower blood sugar, some say increased sugar use. If you use more, there's less in your blood, so you can look at it either way. How about glucagon? What's it going to do? Increase blood sugar. Increase blood sugar by reducing how much your cells are using. Insulin puts it in, glucagon's when it's gone. Right? When your glucagon is gone, use glucagon. Right? Melatonin, made where? Pineal. The pineal or the pineal gland. Its target is? Nope. The brain. It is an NSA, even though they left the E off the end. It's an amine, melatonin. And what does melatonin make you do? Sleeping Sleep and awake, circadian rhythms. Get sleepy, that's why you're tired in wintertime. The sun's down. You get happy in the summer because the sun's up, that kind of thing. Now, this next one. Atrial natriuretic peptide. The first word tells you where it's made. Where's atrial going to be? Atrium. Atrium is found where? Heart. heart. That thing there, heart. So your heart makes a hormone at the, in the atria. Okay? Where does it go? <coughs> Anyone know where it goes? So I have a job. Kidney. Goes to your kidneys. Let's see if we can guess what type it is. 
NSP because it says right there peptide, right? Now the hard part is catching on what it does. So the second word, anyone know what naturum in Latin is? We abbreviated NA in science, that means sodium. Salt. sodium. So it's going to lower the sodium and increase the potassium in the blood. It's a sodium or natriuretic hormone. Almost done. Erythropoietin or EPO, which we'll talk about next week. Where is it made? In your liver and your kidneys. So organs no one cares about. Where does it go? Medical terminology people should know that. You don't remember. Okay. Poesis means what? Making more erythros are what? Blood cells. Where do you go to make blood cells? Bones. Bone marrow. Very good. Surprised you know that. And their job is to increase RBC number to make more erythrocytes. Erythropoiesis. <coughs> what type is it? Give me three letters. NSP. Last one, thymosins. Made where? Look at the name. Your thymus. Where does it go? Everywhere. But mo we're going to say bone marrow, but yeah, it does go kind of everywhere. Immune function. We'll put bone marrow for now. It's an NSP. It increases T cell function. We'll talk about it in about four weeks. We'll go more into that. But there's the chart that thou shalt know, thou shalt. So next week, you better be able to quote it back to me. Make sense? <laughs> oh, wow.